We've now covered most of the theorems in part 1 and part 2. All we have left to look at is intersecting chords. What do you notice about the relationship between the lengths of each segment of chord? This is known as the intersecting chord theorem. When two chords intersect each other inside a circle, the product of their lengths are equal. So 4 multiplied by 9 is equal to 3 multiplied by 12. Both equal 36. So just remember the intersecting chord theorem means A multiplied by B equals C multiplied by D. But what happens when the lines intersect outside of the circle? Chords are inside a circle. A line passing through a circle at two points is actually called a second. Notice that the eight and the six are the whole lengths of the seconds. So from A to C and from A to E. A to C is 10 and A to E is 8. So we looked at the intersecting chord theorem before and now we're looking at the intersecting second theorem. If you multiply the length of AB to the length of AC, it will equal the same thing as the length of AD multiplied by the length of AE. So just be careful to really make sure that you're multiplying by the whole length of A to E and not accidentally just multiplying by DE. So here's the test. Can you remember all nine theorems? Pause the video, jot them down, making sure you use the correct terminology and click play when you're ready to check. How did you get on? So that is all there is for circle theorems. As well as the nine theorems that we've just looked at, you will also come across parallel line angles and isosceles triangles quite a lot, so keep these in mind. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuse School app as well? Until next time.